Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a full face of Latin owned beauty brands and I'm so excited because I am actually 100% Hispanic for those of you who don't know. I feel like a lot of you guys don't know that about me. Fun fact, if you didn't know, my dad is Puerto Rican, my mom is Guatemalan, put it all together, you get me. And I do speak fluent Spanish as well. And a lot of people always ask why I don't speak Spanish in my videos. It's not like on purpose. I just feel like I'm either speaking English or I'm speaking Spanish. Sometimes I speak a little Spanglish, especially on my dad's side. I feel like sometimes I do Spanglish, but growing up, my dad always spoke to me in English and my mom always spoke to me in Spanish. So I feel like it was either like either or, and like on my mom's side of the family, I'm always speaking Spanish for the most part. And then on my dad's side, we speak a lot of English. So that's why I feel like I'm either speaking Spanish or I'm speaking English but I love being Latina, I love the culture, I love everything about being Hispanic and I love the fact that I do speak Spanish and that my mom taught me when I was younger and that's a goal of mine when I do have my own kids, I want them to speak Spanish as well. Yeah, I'm really excited. I saw I Love Sarai doing this video and a couple other people on YouTube and I thought it was so much fun so I placed an order and I finally got all of my stuff with everything happening, that's why this video is taking a little bit longer. These products are so good. I tested them out already prior to this video, some of them, and these brands are amazing. I'm so proud of these business owners to have these amazing lines with great products. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you grab a snack and subscribe if you have not already. And I think that's all I have to say. So let's get into it because I know this video is very long. So let's get started. So starting with brows first, of course, I have a new brow product. This is from Reina Rebelde. It is the Rebel Eye Paint for Brows and Eyes. So first of all, the packaging on this is really cute. You can see it has a little skull on it. And this one's in the shade Frida. And this is what the color looks like. So I've actually been using this for the past couple days and I really like this. It's a good texture, good formula, really easy to work with and I really like this color on me. So I actually couldn't find a brow pencil that was Latin owned. So I'm gonna just outline my brows really quick. I'm gonna just use my ColourPop brow pencil and then I'm just gonna fill in my brows with the Rebel Eye Paint. Then to clean up my brows, I'm actually gonna use the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Extreme Contour Palette because I usually like something that's a little bit thicker for carving them out and this is perfect. So this is what it looks like and I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. This comes in a little trio with two other brushes and I love their brushes. I use them pretty much almost every single time I do my makeup. They're so good. And Alamar is such a great brand. I've talked about them several times but like, I've never had a product from them that didn't work for me. Like I love all of the stuff that they have on their website. They're so good. These brushes are my jam. Color might be a little too light for me, but it's fine. Just gonna blend that in with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Okay, so brows are officially all done. I really like the way they turned out. They are a little thick, maybe not perfectly even, but that pomade is really good. So now we're gonna jump into eyes. So I already primed my lids. I couldn't find also a Latin owned eyeshadow primer. There wasn't like everything Latin owned, but I got everything that I saw that I could find. So, and by the way, all the products that I'm using today are cruelty free, which we love. So this is the Araceli Azteca Eyes Con Agave eyeshadow palette. I feel like when I talk Spanish, I get like an accent and I talk different versus when I talk English, but this is what this palette looks like. I've tried these eyeshadows and I actually used this palette the other day and it's really pigmented. It's really nice. This is a cute little palette, perfect for like a bronze smoky eye, which I'm all about. I know, I do a lot of bronze smoky eyes, so I think today I'm gonna play with the mattes in here. I mean, this is like a shimmery black, but it's still really cute. And we're gonna use that today. I'm gonna do basically an all matte kind of look. I wanna dip into some of the matte cream shades in the Supreme Nudes Artist Couture palette. I did not know Artist Couture was a Latin owned brand. I was watching I Love Sarai and she mentioned that the owner is actually from El Salvador, which is amazing. This is what this palette looks like. So I'm probably gonna use these matte shades for my lid. So I'm gonna start off with the Araceli palette and I'm gonna take this color right here, which is called Cacao, and I'm gonna pop that right in the crease. I'm just gonna kinda do packing motions and then I'm gonna kind of blend it in. This palette is really nice, it's like it reminds me of a high-end palette because the shadows are so pigmented and easy to work with.
Then I'm gonna use the Alamar Cosmetics brush. These don't even have like names or anything on them anymore because that's how long I've had them. I got these in a BoxyCharm like two years ago and I've been obsessed with them ever since. So I'm gonna take this brush. I'm actually gonna dip into the Artist Couture palette and I'm gonna take this like light mustardy brown. I'm gonna use that just to blend out the edges of the shadow. In this palette I've also used, and it's really nice, I love the tones in these, both of these palettes. They're just like my kind of colors. Then I'm gonna take this color right here which is called Chocolate. This is a really rich shade, just like chocolate. And I'm just gonna take that right on the outer crease. This is extremely pigmented. So. I'm just doing a little bit out of time and then gradually working it up. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of tapping in the eyeshadow and then blending it out very lightly. So tap, blend. All right, make sure I'm in focus. I have a bad habit of like getting too close to the mirror and then I'm not in focus. This eye is always a little bit more choppy than the other. It's because I'm right-handed, so everything on my right side always looks better than on my left. I'm gonna dip into a little bit of this shade again from the Artist Couture palette, that mustardy shade. I love this color. It's a good blending shade. And I'm just gonna take that and blend this out a little bit. Jumping back into the Pinky Rose palette, I am gonna take the crayon, everybody says I said crayon wrong in my last video, the crayon case brush. This one is the 03 brush. And I'm gonna use some of this light concealer shade. And I'm just gonna take that to really clean this up. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand because this is really pigmented. And I'm just gonna use that to cut the crease. So this is really not super necessary, but I really want these matte shades to stand out and to pop. So I'm gonna take Stripped and Exposed in the Artist Couture palette, and I'm gonna use both of these colors right here just to set everything down. Kind of mixing both, and I'm just gonna pack those colors on. I'm gonna use that crease brush, and I'm just gonna run that kind of back and forth so those edges are nice and Blended. Then for a liner, I'm gonna go in with the Sweet Street Wing Queen liner. It's like a nice felt tip, really nice like heavy packaging. This honestly feels super high end. Comes with a nice pointy tip, it'll cut you. I'm gonna kind of freehand it. I'm not gonna use my elf eye tapes for once. I used this the other day and it was really nice. And I actually used this the other day and I was really impressed and it lasted all day, so I like that. For lashes today, I'm gonna go in with one of my all-time favorite brands of lashes. These are the Flutter and Love Lashes. So, fun fact, I actually used these on my wedding day. I used the style Winter Rose, I believe it was, but these are so beautiful. They're basically like luxury lashes for a really great price. They're great quality. They are cruelty-free lashes as well and you can reuse them. So, they're great, I feel like, for like going out, special occasion, prom, weddings, bridesmaids. Like, they're just like that go-to luxury lash at a really great price and this is what they look like this is one of my favorite styles in Luna so pretty very fluffy very easy to apply and I love them so they have a bunch of different styles on their websites I always like to put them on first so we can kind of see yes you see they're just like very fluffy but they're not too much like they are just like that perfect like glam lash so i'm gonna take these and i'm gonna just use a little kiss lash glue and i'm gonna tight line my upper waterline in the meantime while we wait for the lash glue to dry this is the araceli ojos perfectos gel pencil liner so this one's in the shade black another product i by the way i used all these products but this is another product that i used and i really like this liner this is super creamy so I'm gonna just tight line. I'm gonna line my waterline later on with this as well. 
So while we wait, I'm gonna just go into the Araceli palette once again. I'm gonna take the black shade, which is like a really nice black with sparkle in it. I'm gonna use a J. Kessa brush, and I'm gonna take that black and start kind of smudging it right on the outer crease, kind of against the liner. Just to add a little bit more dimension and darkness. All right, now we can pop on the lashes. How I ever did my makeup without lashes like the lashes really take everything to the next level so now we can move into the skin which is my favorite part always so I got a couple things from beauty creations this was also super popular a lot of you guys recommended this brand so this is the beauty creations pro matte primer spray just a little FYI these products are scented it's not super overwhelming like you don't smell it throughout the day but when you first spray them and apply it on your face you can definitely smell each of the products are a little bit different as far as scents but it's definitely a kind of a little bit of a strong scent but not too much All right, so I'm gonna use this to put up the skin I'm gonna cover my eyes let me get a little bit more actually it's like hard to do this when you're covering no Next up for primer, I have the Beauty Creations Poreless Face Primer. So this is a pore minimizing primer. So when I first used this, I was like, oh, like it's a silicone base primer, but it's actually a thicker silicone primer and it's really nice on the skin. I typically don't use silicone based primers anymore because I feel like they don't really work that well with my skin. Kind of just usually make the makeup slide all over the place, but this is actually nice because it's a little bit thicker. So I feel like it adheres better to your skin and your products go on a lot better. So I'm gonna put this on mainly on my T-zone. Now for foundation. So when I first tested out this foundation, I kind of figured that these weren't gonna be my proper shades. Well, one, I have a tan right now, like a little bit. It's like faded at this point. It was pretty difficult to figure out what shade to get on their website. So I got a full size, and I know this is not gonna match me. It's in 4.0, but I'll show you guys what the packaging and everything looks like. Oh, yeah, this is way too light. I don't even know if this would match me even if I was like my lightest without any tan. But the packaging is really nice. It's like rose gold glass packaging. And this foundation says it's a satin finish, oil-free, hydrating, long wear, lightweight formula, and it has vitamin E in it, which is nice. But when you are on the website, you are able to pick out some samples. So that's what I've been using. So I have a couple little samples right here. So I'm gonna mix the shade 4.5 and 6.0. This also has a scent to it, it smells good. And I'm gonna use the Beauty Creation sponge. Let's zoom back in a little bit. I'm gonna definitely drag this down a little bit to my neck because it's not my perfect shade. All of the foundations, like the samples that I have also, they have a lot of yellow undertones to them. So just a little FYI. This is very yellow, but with concealer and everything, it should work in the end. So you can see the coverage is nice. It's definitely, to me, it's more of like a matte finish, not super satiny. I feel like this could be a good foundation if you have oily skin. I prefer something a little bit more dewy these days. It's not a bad foundation. It's just like, you know, we like what we like, but it does have really nice coverage as you can see. It like evened out my skin tone, it blends in nicely. And I really like the sponge, by the way, it's super bouncy. I'm gonna go back into the Pinky Rose palette. So I used this once on my face, the bronzer colors, and I like the formula of this, it's really nice, but I wish that these were a little bit more on the brown side. They're a little bit too orangey, like red from my skin tone. Like I do like a warm bronzer, but I feel like these are a little too warm for my skin tone. But again, the formula is really nice. I used this color the other day so I'm gonna use this again today and I'll probably mix in a little bit of this one as well. And just start working these in. You know what, it actually is looking better today. So the first time I used this palette, I only used 
this color right here, but I feel like mixing in this shade as well kind of makes it a little bit more wearable. This formula is really nice. So if you're into these kinds of tones to cream contour or cream bronze, you will really, really like this palette. And I like to really get in here in my hairline, get that nice and bronzed, and kind of blend as I go with the same sponge. So I'm really happy that I got to use this palette again today because I really like the way that this looks. I feel like it looks so much better. I mean, the first time that I used it, it was nice, but it was a little difficult to work with. So I feel like mixing in some of these lighter shades helps a ton. So now for powder, I have the Beauty Creations Banana Setting Powder. I also used this the other day and don't love the packaging because this is like the Makeup Revolution packaging, but the powder is really nice. You can get past the packaging. It's all good. I'm going to just take the sponge and I'm going to set my under eyes. This does have a scent. Kind of smells like a scented like Avon lotion, something that my mom used to wear. You know, it's funny because a lot of the scents in here just reminds me of growing up and like my mom, my family. So, I mean, it's nice. It's not a bad scent, but just a little FYI. All right. So I'm going to set. I like this banana powder because it doesn't have a lot of yellow undertones. So I feel like it's very wearable. nice too because it's like very bright under the eyes but I feel like it's not too much and it's really comfortable on the skin too it's not like too dry or anything so I like that too I used it the other day and I was really impressed with it and when I tested it out it didn't have any flashback and I tested that out on my iPhone so love that now to set the bronzer I'm gonna use my LMR cosmetics brighten and bronze complexion trio this is another product that I love I've talked about this in a favorites video this color right here is great for brightening up your under eyes I love it I feel like we have a lot of light going on under there so I'm not going to use it today but I am going to use these bronzers in here which I love so I have this one in the shade medium tan and I just showed you what it looks like so let's use it up so I'm going to take my brush and just swirl in here look at that color it's perfection and I'm really going to use that to bronze I don't really ever contour I like to just bronze Okay, now for blush, I think I'm gonna mix. So I love another LMR Cosmetics product. I told you guys I love this brand, but this is their Colorette Blush Trio. This one's in Fair Light, and these are my kinds of tones. I just love these like peachy orangey shades, especially for summer, they're so pretty. This blush palette is everything. It's super long wearing. The colors are so beautiful on the skin, but I also do have this one, and I don't know how to pronounce the last name, and I don't wanna mispronounce it. It's Kenya. On Tiveros Beauty, I think that's how you say it. I know, every time I talk in Spanish, I get like a little accent, don't come for me. But this is what the inside looks like. So I did use these blushes the other day and they are intense. A little bit goes a long way for sure. I'm gonna use a little bit of this one and then I'm probably gonna add a little bit of Olimar Cosmetics over top because I'm always mixing my blushes, but be mindful, this palette is intense. I'm just gonna put some right on the apples kind of blending it upwards. Oh, I forgot to do bronzer on my nose. I just realized that. Let me do a little blush on the nose and I'm gonna add the bronzer. So let's go back with the Olimar palette and I'm gonna use the light shade right here, which is called Soltera. And I'm gonna put that right on the sides of my nose. Now going into Olimar. I mean, this is really pretty on its own as well. I just want a little, little, more peachiness. So I'm going to take that color and this color right here. So pretty. I love it. They have other colors in this as well, but this one, of course, is my favorite. All right, now for highlighter. This is from Vive Cosmetics. So it's the Loose and Glow Highlighter Duo. And this is really cute. I used this the other day. This is also vegan, cruelty free. A lot of these brands are actually like vegan and cruelty free, which makes me really happy. I'm gonna just basically mix both of these together. I feel like this is like the perfect little duo for this look. And I'm gonna just pop that right on. This is intense. So I'm gonna do my lips now, and this is one actually one of my favorite lip liners ever. I have raved about this. It's another one from Olimar Cosmetics, but this one is in, like look how tiny my thing is. I mean, there's still a lot left, but like I'm going through this. So I have backups of this because I love it. This is their lip liner in Dulce. 
This is that perfect like everyday color. And then I'm gonna top that off with the Artist Couture lipstick. This one's in Saucy Gal. This has been my current favorite like beige kind of nude shade. I think it goes really well with the eyes too. And then I got these new glosses. So these are semi-suede lip glosses, again, from Kenya on, I just don't wanna keep butchering her name. And this one I got in the shade Mini Nude. So we're gonna top that off with some gloss. Olimar has really good glosses as well, but I figured we would also show this brand some love. Ooh, this is pretty. I haven't even used these yet. These are brand new. Oh, wow, these are pigmented, okay. Good, like, topper, it's not, really glossy i feel like it's more sort of like a velvet liquid lipstick that's kind of what it reminds me of like it's not drying like a liquid lipstick but it's pigmented like a liquid lipstick okay that's pretty though it's really comfortable i feel like it's good over top of maybe a lipstick that's too drying i mean the artist couture lipstick is nice on its own but that kind of nuded it out a little bit more so i want something a little bit more glossy though so i thought this was going to be more glossy but it's fine it's still really pretty i'm going to use the olimar cosmetics lip gloss in the shade divina Oh no, this is the wrong color. This is too dark, hold on. I, <laughs> I get them confused, coqueta. This is the color I want. So what I'm gonna do is my lower lashes. So I'm gonna start off by just lighting my waterline. I'm gonna use the same Araceli liner that I was using earlier to tight line. And then going back with the eyeshadow palette that I was using, I'm gonna take the shade Chocolate and I'll probably do a little bit of the black on the outer corner of the lower lashes just to really emphasize that area. I forgot to mention also these zip glosses, they're a little bit sticky, but they're super long wearing and you can just see how pigmented they are. They're gorgeous over like any nude lipstick or any lip liner and they're also really pretty on their own because they are so pigmented, but I really like them because they do last a really long time and the formula, I think, even though it is a little bit sticky, is still really nice. Last but not least, I'm gonna set my makeup into place and I got the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Setting Spray. So it says it's weightless, 18 hour wear, matte finish, and it can be used as a setting spray or refresh fresher. The spray on it is really nice. So I used that spray once the other day and it, from what I can remember, it, my makeup was matte throughout the day. Like I didn't have to touch up or anything. So it's intense. But I feel like for summer sprays like that could be good, especially if you have super oily skin. So that is it for this full face of Latin owned brands. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love the way this look turned out. It's like giving me date night vibes to the max. I'm obsessed with it. I love the matte eyes with the glossy lip. And honestly, I love everything that I used. There's a couple of things that I was like a little iffy about at first but I'm really glad I got to like test them out again. Like for instance, this Pinky Rose Extreme Contour Palette. At first, I was a little nervous when I first tested this out, but I was definitely able to make it work when I mixed in some of the other shades. And this is a really great formula. So I really like this a lot. That's why like, I like first impressions, but I also never go off of just a first impression because after using the product a second, third time, it could be so much better versus the first time. I also really do like the foundation. The coverage is nice, but the finish is a little too matte for my skin. That's like the only thing about today's video that I was like kind of on the fence about. It's a great foundation i just feel like for me it's not the best because i don't have super oily skin like i used to but of course i still wanted to test it out because it, it does seem to be a very popular foundation especially from what i've seen on instagram and like i said it's really good it's just a little too matte i think if i use it next time i'll probably just mix in a little primer oil or i could even mix it in with one of my favorite luminous foundations and i think it'll be really pretty because like the coverage and everything is on point the shades are a little tricky just a little bit so i definitely recommend getting samples and you can get multiple ones which is good but everything else i'm obsessed with the concealer the powder is is really nice this is like a really good like natural banana powder it's very smoothing it's very bright but it feels really comfortable on the skin i'm obsessed with the cheek products that i use i also love the eyeshadow palettes that i use these are incredible and this blush palette is also really beautiful i feel like for traveling or if you're a makeup artist this could be a really pretty palette to have in your kit and this lip combo i am like living for it and also the sponge from beauty creations is really good as well something else i wanted to mention also the sprays from beauty creations are intense this is also very matte so I think if you have oily skin, you will really like this brand. The liner and lashes though. I mean, the lashes I've used before, but this liner is really, really nice. Super matte, super black.
black, very easy to work with. Yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Go show these brands some love. They deserve all the recognition and even so much more. I will link everything that I used down below and that is it. Until next time, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!